Fish on! Fish on! Woo! Oh, he's a fighter. Okay, this was 52 feet deep. Um, we were we started out deep, wasn't working. There's a lot of fish out deep, but we weren't able to hook them. So we moved inshore. We started working these points here. Um, we were about 75 feet of water, about 52 feet deep. This is on one of our minnow tubes and one of our uh, fisheye dodgers. It's a nice fish. Now he wants to jump, and you'll notice I'm keeping this low rod angle. I don't want him jumping because uh, I don't want to lose him. This I want to put him in the smoker. So we'll see if we can get him within net range here. He's 40 feet back. I saw him flash back here. Looks like a nice fish. Feels like a nice fish. And uh, just got to be patient here. Wes is steering the boat. He's started us out into deeper water, so we're not going to have any drama with hitting the bank. And here he comes, 30 feet, 20 feet. He's taking it nice and easy. Oh yeah, nice king. Got that treble hook on there, so hopefully we got him pretty good. We'll see. We go whoa nice fish <laughs> I could have got him quicker if my arms were longer <laughs> oh that's a nice king all right our first salmon of the year in the duck were and he is a uh, it's a dandy well he wasn't going anywhere see the hook right there oh, there he is minnow tube and look how well I had him hooked look at that he's got teeth Look at that hook. It's just buried in the corner of his mouth. He was, no way he was getting off there unless he, he broke the line or something. So, well, all right, we're off to a, we're off to a rip roaring start here at uh, Lake Oroville for the 2020 season. This is our first fish of 2020, a nice, probably a two, two and a quarter pound king. Uh, we're using one of our new fisheye dodgers and uh, one of our minnow tubes and he jumped all over it. I still haven't got the hook out of him. Fishheadshoot.com offers a variety of tackle as well as rods and reels designed to get you on more and bigger fish. Check it out today at fishheadshoot.com. So I'm going to show you how we're running our tubes today. And you know, I don't care what you're running for King Salmon, you're ahead of the game if you're using some kind of natural bait with your hoochies, with your tubes, whatever. So what I got here is a big Ziploc bag. I got one of those gel ice things in there. I got a few tray bait anchovies in there and I salted those last night. But here's what I'm using on the tubes. I took a couple anchovies last night, I filleted them, I stripped up the fillets, I put them in a Ziploc with salt. And it's, uh, it's important to note that we're using sea salt. If you use the regular iodinized or whatever the word is, salt, they will turn black. But uh, let me get a nice strip here. I like the shiny silver ones. Oh, I'm being all particular. I caught a fish, so there we go. That one's just about perfect. So there you go. Nice, shiny piece. It's got, it's got minimal meat on it, and that salt really dries them out and keeps them tough. So what I do, I just take my tube, tube right here. It's got a red treble in it, number eight treble. Take one point of that treble, doesn't matter which one, and just run it through the, the wide end of that strip of anchovy. And if you've salted them, it's, it's, it's a pretty tough piece of meat. I put that on there like so. That's right there. And I have a, uh, I'm running the six inch fisheye dodger. And this is about two and a quarter blade lengths behind the blade. And it's giving it that nice stop start action. So that's what we're using. Super simple, but super effective. Um, the bite's a little touchy this morning. We're still getting fish. The bite was wide open. We'd be catching fish after fish. It imitates a pond smell. That's what they eat. They come into the, the vibration of the dodger. They see what they think is a pond smell, and it's fish on.